Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I'm trying the Akashi Maisei. It's uh, distilled from the White Oak Distillery that was founded in 1888. But as I remember, I've been to that distillery. I don't think it has been founded as the White Oak Distillery. I think they kind of did a bit of a rebranding from Aiga Shimushutsu, which is very Japanese, to a bit something that sounds more English. I don't know why you want to sound more English if you have Japanese history. That could be cool as well. And yeah. It is, for 1888, is very, very old for Japanese uh, yeah, distilling in general. They say they had the first license to distill in 1990 for spirits, and they started with uh, sake and shoku, or shoku, I don't know. And uh, yeah, in, in 84, they actually built a new distillery and kind of specialized in, in whiskey. And they are, Akashi is a, a town or a city uh, very, very close to Kobe, which is kind of there. Yeah, there is kind of a, a belt of, I think it, it comes to also Toyota city and uh, Kobe is very big and famous for its beef and also tourism. And also Akashi, there is another big whiskey distillery there up the river so yeah i've been there and i've actually tried the kobe beef there was a really nice uh, restaurant with an 80 year old waiter and i think he was the owner as well and uh, that was something uh the what, what did he call the the shabu shabu uh, <laughs> very special if you ever go to japan <laughs> take some money with you because uh, having a, a really good kobe beef is something from another world and the shabu shabu yeah so um Let's talk about the whiskey. Uh, it's a 40% whiskey and it's a blended whiskey. And that is um, usually in Japan, blended whiskey is not a bad thing as they are really into um, blending whiskey together. That means uh, like the master blender in Japan is higher than I think that's one of these caps that should be lost as well. Didn't have that with whiskey, with whiskey yet. Um, yeah, so, but I think this one is a bit more entry level whiskey. So it is a mixture between uh, malt whiskey and uh, grain whiskey. Mmm. Oh, it it's a fairly normal whiskey, I would say, with a lot of oak, vanilla, and a little bit of spiciness. And you realize, okay, that is a blended. It has a bit of that that uh, grain touch to it. For me, grain always smells a little bit oh, flat, not as round and malty as a single malt. Hmm. Mm. Oh, this is more of an entry level whiskey. Mm. It's nice, easy. It has a good amount of sweetness, caramel, vanilla, um, but a decent amount of oak in there. Yeah, definitely a decent amount of oak in there. Mm. With a little bit of a bittersweet dark chocolate note a little bit of a coffee note i would say as well i'm not that into coffee by the way <laughs> but mm, i like it oh the, the smell when you have it in your mouth that just activates a lot when you have uh, one sip whiskey usually smells a lot stronger and this one definitely smells a lot strong so yeah as this is an an entry level um, Japanese whiskey. So usually when you have Japanese whiskey, they are so much into perfectionists and th that means most of the whiskeys are uh, unpayable. But this one I think is um, also a smaller bottle and uh, payable and entry level into uh, Japanese whiskey. But very much of a yeah Scotch style whiskey. 
maybe a little bit more intense and on the oak side um, as the usual scotch. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not quite sure how, how open the distillery is to the public. I've been able to get in there, so have a look at the whiskey.com channel. There is a, a video about the distillery, but uh, the video, that was the first distillery that I actually did with a translator. And I think the interview is also with a lady that translated between me and the interviewee. I think that was the master distiller there. So yeah, that is my take to the Akashi Maisei. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you next time.